Hello and welcome everyone. This is your friend Malanga. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem uh, when you try to run the Flutter app in the Android Studio through an emulator. So the message is seen like this, unable to locate the ADV. So how to solve this? Uh, follow this video step by step. So at the end of the video, you'll know how to uh, tackle this problem. So let's just start. Now I'm going to create a new project to show you. Uh, how it works. So at first I'm going to create a Flutter project. Um, this is given yeah, I stick a part of the Flutter. So I choose the Flutter app and after that click on next button. So okay, let it be created. Okay now the uh, app is created. Okay, now at first uh, make sure that <coughs> Android SDK is installed. So here it is um, in my PC. Android 11 and Android 10 are installed. So make sure that uh, these Android SDK are installed. Um, if not, then just click on this one and download it, and it will be downloaded. So after it is downloaded, <coughs> let me show you the problem here. Uh, look no connected device found please connect to device or uh, this blah 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 message and whenever I turn try to run the um, virtual device okay the same error it's on so to solve this uh, at first I'll open your project and after that go to Android and after that app SRC um, main and here it is double click on this file and after that set up the SDK you can see this option here and I have just shown you that and Android 29 API 29 and API 30 are installed so I'm going to choose the API 30 the latest one um, okay it may take a bit to set up the SDK after that after the SDK is set up now what you have to do again let's check this um, okay now again it will throw this same message here so uh, now to solve this click on this project structure option here project structure and after that again set up the SDK here for this particular project okay again I'm going to choose the Android API 30 and after that I'm going to apply it and after that I'm going to click on OK after it is done uh, click on this option and upon your emulator okay you can see in the background here emulator is opening <coughs> okay after the emulator is successfully turned on uh, you can see this here um, now we can uh, it's run the app now for that just click on this run the okay now at first it will uh, take a while to build the gradle so it's the patience Our emulator is running in the background. You can see this here, our app is running now and it is fine. <coughs> okay, now we can see the application successfully launched and this is just a dummy app so hey guys thank you for watching i'll make such video if you like share and subscribe my channel have a nice day